Hello everyone. In my previous videos, I have discussed in detail about the classification and reclassification of star category hotels. Today, I am going to discuss about the hotel properties that display the rich heritage of our country. So let's discuss about the prestigious legacy vintage hotels. Today we will discuss about the definition of legacy vintage properties, the classification of legacy vintage properties, the fee structure, the details of the committee classifying the legacy vintage properties and the general terms and conditions that a hotel needs to satisfy so as to be classified as a legacy vintage property. So what are legacy vintage hotels? As we just said that India is a country with rich heritage and these are the heritage hotels. That means these are the hotels that are converted or built of the same construction material from the heritage properties, not just any properties. These properties must be built prior to 1950 to be considered under this category. 50% of the construction material should be from the source of, uh, of the same heritage property. The hotel must be constructed with the distinctive quality and the ambience of the traditional way of life of that particular area. Any construction or renovation that is planned or is done must be in accordance to the architectural and construction style of that era and the tradition of that area. Just like the star classification we discussed in my previous videos, Legacy vintage properties or the heritage hotels are also classified into three different categories. The legacy vintage classification is as under legacy vintage basic properties, legacy vintage classic properties and legacy vintage grand properties. So the question rises, what all properties are suitable to be called as legacy vintage basic properties. Now, as we just discussed in the definition of le legacy vintage properties, any property which is either converted or built with the same construction material which was built prior to 1950 and now is a working hotel can be considered under the legacy vintage basic property provided it has five letable rooms. Now, Five letable double occupancy rooms or 10 beds are mandatory. That is the minimum criteria. And of course, it should have and it should offer the traditional cuisine of that area to its prospective guests. Talking about the legacy vintage classic properties. Now, these are the hotels which are either converted or are built on the site or are converted from palaces which are built prior to 1935 and not 1950. So any any palaces or havelis that are converted into operational hotels prior, which were built prior to 1935 can be considered under the category of legacy vintage classic property. The number of minimum number of letable rooms is 15 in this case. Again, it should be 30 beds. That is the double occupancy, which I am mentioning here. Now, it also should offer the traditional cuisine of the area. And also it should have four to five dishes in close approximation to continental cuisine. When we say close approximation to continental cuisine, that means that the staff should be able to produce four to five continental dishes or at least uh, very similar dishes of uh, as of the continental cuisine. 
to be classified as a legacy vintage grand or a heritage grand property one criteria is similar to the classic properties that it should be a, a hotel converted or built on a construction site which is built prior to 1935 again it should have minimum of 15 letable rooms and here again i'm talking about double occupancy rooms that is 30 beds and there is a slight difference in the cuisine now it should offer the traditional cuisine now it should also offer the continental cuisine now here i'm not using the word approximation so it is expected that legacy vintage grand properties will offer continental authentic continental cuisine to its prospective guests well as the star category properties these heritage properties and legacy vintage properties do have a fee structure that means there is a fee that has to be paid to the department of tourism ministry of tourism government of india so that these can be classified into three basic categories so for the hotel to be classified as with legacy vintage basic properties the fee is rupees 15000 legacy vintage classic it is 15000 rupees again and legacy vintage grand it is again 15000 rupees that means all the three categories have the similar fee or you may say that the ministry of tourism department of tourism government of india has set the similar fee for all the three categories of legacy vintage hotels Now there is a committee that classifies this legacy vintage properties or the heritage properties. It is the same committee that classifies the star categories and reclassifies the star category properties. The HRACC, I hope you remember the full form of this, the Hotel and Restaurants Approval Classification Committee, which is chaired by the additional Director General Tourism Government of India also they have there are representatives of fhrai which stands for federation of hotel and restaurant association of india hai that stands for hotel association of india iato which is the abbreviation for indian association of tour operators taai which stands for travel agents association of india and quote and quote ihha gets in involved in this the representative of ihha invo gets involved in this now ihha stands for indian heritage hotel association which is apparently not a member in case of a star category classification however when this committee classifies a legacy vintage or a heritage hotel property ihha or representative of ihha becomes mandatory to be a part of committee also the principal ihm or the nominee who is a senior teaching staff from the institute will be a part of the committee regional director india tourism and member secretary hracc will be the part of the committee so all these members form the committee which is called as an hracc which stands for hotel and restaurant approval classification committee which is responsible for star category hotels also and legacy vintage properties as well talking about the quorum that means number of people that have to constitute this committee and inspect the hotel to give them the appropriate category is for one the chairperson or a nominee uh, nominated by him or and any other three members from the committee will can constitute a quorum and take an inspection and give a due decision on the category of hotels they uh, the hotel has applied for like the star category hotels there is a deadline for classification for classification any operational hotel can apply for classification at any at any time for reclassification an already classified hotel has to apply six months before the validity expiration date of the present classification 
and in case they fail to do so their case will be considered as a fresh case and they have to again apply for the classification which will invite the entire team again for inspection talking about the inspection and validity once the hotel has applied for the classification to be done under a particular category they must be prepared at all times as the inspection can be done at any time when the uh, hrcc is constituted and the quorum is constituted they can take the inspection at any possible time and once they have given the classification uh, the decision on the classification the validity remains for five years just like the star category hotels the classification of legacy vintage properties also happen in two stages one wherein the presence of facilities and the services will be checked by the hrscc members by which will be in accordance to the list of, of services and facilities provided by the hotel at the time of application and second the quality evaluation by using a checklist is also done by the hrscc member following which they will give a decision uh, whether to give them the same classification or probably one lower to it but definitely not one higher to it talking about the deficiency and dissatisfaction deficiency is when the hrscc member feels that the hotel has fallen short of its claims so in that case the rectification will be allowed but not exceeding three months and after this any time there will be an inspection and the decision can be taken accordingly dissatisfaction happens when a hotel is not satisfied by the decision taken by the hrscc members so in that case the hotel can apply to the secretary of secretary of tourism government of india but not exceeding 30 days it should be within 30 days after which a decision or a reinspection whatever the decision will be taken by the secretary tourism government of india would be done now where to apply and how to pay now if the paperwork is done all the nocs all the clarification certifications have been taken now where to apply now this application has to be done online on this portal which is www.hotelcloud.nic.in and as we have already discussed that the fee is 15000 rupees for any category so it has to be paid in a digital mode online on the same website well thank you very much for being with me in this particular discussion about the legacy vintage properties now this is just an overview of the legacy vintage properties in the next part we will we shall discuss about the various typical services that has to be present in the particular subcategory of the legacy vintage hotels now maximum of the services are similar to what is offered by the star category hotels but in typical cases we'll just discuss those services which are different thank you very much stay safe